Well, hello and welcome back to my shop. My name is Dima. So a few days ago, I released a video of a pen tray, a pen display tray that you could make yourself. Now, a few people have questioned about how I put the velvet lining in here. And in this episode, I'm gonna go through the process of how I do it. So this process is fairly simple. And if you haven't done this before, I suggest you trying on a sample piece before, you know, cutting your good velvet. So I purchased my velvet on eBay. This comes in a very long sheet and I get them for about a buck each. And this stuff lasts me for a number of projects. I purchased them in bulk, uh, so that way I have plenty to work with. So the items you're gonna need, you're obviously gonna need the velvet of your choice, the color that you would like. And it's gonna have to be the adhesive back style of velvet. You're gonna need a straight edge, a pair of scissors, some masking tape, and a pencil or a fine point marker. So let's get started. So the first thing I do is I take my masking tape and my goal is to measure how much velvet I really need. Because there are some curved surfaces on here, um, you can't just measure from end to end and that'll tell you the exact measurement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my masking tape to mask off throughout all the grooves from one end to end and then that'll tell me how much of the velvet I need. You want to start off with a square edge, so that way you can put it right in the corner. And then go ahead and just start taping it inside. Make sure it's nice and tight, there is no loose areas, otherwise your measurement will be off. So now just using your finger, you just go down the line. Now at the end, all I do is I just grab a pencil and just mark that edge. And now I can just grab my scissors. And I could probably give it just a little bit extra in case uh, it gives me uh, room for error. So there you go. This is how much velvet I'm gonna need. As you can see, if you were to measure from one end to the other, you would have been too short. So here you go, as you can see, I've got a perfect ruler that will give me the exact measurement of that area that it needs to cover. So the velvet that I purchased actually comes with a grid on the back, so I could use that uh, to cut it square. So I'm just gonna grab my straight edge. Line it up, mark it. And now the next thing I have to do is measure the width of my velvet. So I just grab my straight edge or a ruler and that's about six inches if I want it to be very tight. I don't want it to be very tight so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a clearance on the end. So grab my ruler. There's my six inch. So I'm just gonna go about a 30 seconds off of the six inch to give me a little bit of wiggle room. So now that I have it all marked up, I can just grab my scissors and go ahead and cut on the line. Now, if you're not good at cutting with the scissors on a straight line, you could just use a razor blade to slice that with a straight edge. So the first thing I wanna do is, I wanna make sure that my starting point of this velvet is in the correct spot otherwise if it's not and it's off a little bit the further you go down the more off it's gonna get it's pretty much gonna multiply so the beginning stages the prep work is pretty much very important so I'm gonna make sure that this edge square edge right here is perfectly square to the inside of the edge here so I'm just gonna go ahead and peel the paper off now you don't want to peel all of the paper because then it's gonna be a pain in the butt to work with. Uh, the one more thing I forgot to mention is you have to make sure that you're completely free of dust or any oils on your material. Otherwise, this stuff won't stick very well. 
so I open it about uh, about maybe two three inches there and I line up the beginning so that way it's perfectly lined up with the edge of the inside So there you go, I've got my edge lined up and I guess we'll figure out if it is lined up by the time we get to the end. Now once you got your corner established, you can go ahead and just start peeling the paper further and further back, just using your finger to firmly press the adhesive against the material that you're working with. Just creasing all the corners so that they conform to the material that you're working with. And just keep peeling the paper back as you go. As you can see towards the end there, I actually have some leftover that I'll just take off with my razor blade. Now I know there's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, you can do a flocking method which uh, you buy the powdered version of the velvet in a bag and you have special glue and special applicators that you, you apply the glue of where you want the velvet to be and you flock which is a special pump that kind of sprays the velvet on there. Uh, that method to me seems a little bit more expensive just because I don't want to buy specialty tools to apply this material since I don't really do a lot of it. So I think this is probably the most convenient and, and the cheapest way to do it. Well I appreciate you watching. If you found this video useful go ahead and give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you got any additional questions and subscribe if you haven't done so right here. And don't forget to share with your family and friends and teach them a thing or two. Well, have fun in the shop, but be safe doing it. See you next time.